Hey, what's going on guys? Some of you, another late night video. So here's one thing that you can actually um, use as a tool to know if you are stuck in a matrix. First things first, if you are offended with men not paying taxes, like if you literally, as a man, you exploit, or not even a woman, it doesn't matter what your gender, I'm just speaking uh, for men. Um, if you're able to exploit every tax loophole and, and legal deduction, possible and not have to pay that much in taxes then you're a smart guy um if you think that you should pay more which real in reality nobody's going to the irs or going to um their you know state auditor's office or whatever wherever it would be and and telling them hey can you tax me an extra 200 dollars?" nobody's doing that but you know the reason why i mentioned that is because now you know trump's name getting popped up out out of the blue again because they're saying he didn't pay his fair share elon musk isn't paying his fair share even though he's paying more taxes than almost the whole state small state um on his own so it's kind of crazy out here that people are so brainwashed into losing at life because ultimately in life if you don't have to pay a certain amount don't pay you know only pay what's, what's required uh, because you're not going to get a trophy you're not going to get a you know piece of cake for paying or cookie for paying extra so if you're frustrated in the comments below at me uh, being happy that my tax agent just did my taxes and i'm literally uh, thank god because of all the deductions and all the investments that i made last year um i'm actually getting money back uh, i'm getting like like a little over three thousand dollars back that's gonna go to my my kid's grandmother um take care of her um you know, get that squared away, um, middle of February. But yeah, um, that's what's going on with my um, tax situation. And then I want to talk to you guys about my experience, personal work experience. So a lot of people ask me, and I did videos on it, but I didn't really hit home the fact that, guys, I don't have any personal work experience, which is why when I do my taxes, when I, you know, do certain things, it's a mess, it's chaotic because I don't really have any set thing. I mean, it's always different every year. You know, my tax situation is always kind of the same. It's always mostly ride share money because the um, lead generating business that I had um, that I did in Las Vegas, um, which was like, what, four years ago, um, the donate, the money from Plasma Center was donation money, you know? So I was able to get away without paying um, taxes on that money because it was all donation money. And then um, the other money that I made, you know, I paid taxes on that money, but it wasn't much due to the fact that at the time I was putting on a lot of miles um, at the time to a ride share. So me getting another job, because I actually have a friend who was throwing out there like, hey, I have a friend that um, general manager at who's general manager at Chick-fil-A. And I'm like, that'd be cool, but I don't want to be a uh, um, charity hire, meaning I don't want to get hired because I'm a friend of a friend. I'm like, then on top of that, I don't want to work for no $17, $18 an hour because after taxes, that's like $16 to $15 an hour. I'm just not doing that because realistically, I'm going to make max $2,400 in 40 hours a week. And in reality, yes, um, it equates to a lot better than ride share if you can do 60 hours with you know the overtime pay. But with Chick-fil-A, they usually keep you under um, the 40-hour mark. So I propose that, you know, I try to, I'm going to try to come up with a resume. It's going to be tough because you got to remember the nightclubs and the bars that I've um, managed and the one that I had that shut down because of COVID, I can't use any of the owners or um, my partner that I, you know, worked with as references, business references. You know, I can't use any of that to, to give myself credibility due to the fact that the people, most of the bar owners didn't pay me properly. They didn't honor their contract, so they're not gonna be a help. And then the bar that you know I had that shut down because of COVID, the guy's still trying to run it right now, it's the Zodiac. And he still owes me a deposit that I gotta sue him for next or later on this year because he thinks he's gonna get away with keeping it. So I can't use them as a reference. And then when I was doing entertainment and all of that back in the heyday, um, I had no references because I was doing um, different events you know i was doing corporate events and i was doing you know just regular parties so i can't use any of those people as a point of reference and then lastly um when i was in vegas and i was doing taxi and you know all of that and of course the uber and lyft ride share money i can't use that as them as references so that's the reason why when i do my resume 
I have to literally make up companies. Like I worked for MCI, but I had to make it seem like I worked longer with MCI. I put on, I put down VXI, which was a call center, but I had to like make it stretch. You know, I put CS Entertainment, even though it's my entertainment company, but I can't really put a number because it's my number. You know, I can't really, my resume is nasty, so I can't really take it to nobody and them take me serious because it's just nothing there. Like all the management and all the experience that I, all the management experience I have just doesn't show. So I'm like a mess, you know, on resume. So on a resume. So what I have to do is um, I'm starting from scratch. That's the reason why I'm taking my time and trying to, you know, build up something because I don't want to, uh, once again, start all the way at the bottom. Because if I go to Chick-fil-A, which I can get hired at $18 an hour, um, I'm going to be a cashier. And normally you don't get raises at Chick-fil-A. So I wouldn't want to do that. I want to start off on a management program, like at a Burger King, McDonald's. I think Wendy's do it, but they have like a management program. Most of these places where they train you to be the manager, then after a year or two, they'll give you your own store to run. That's something that I'm considering, okay? But you gotta have a resume. You gotta have some type of you know uh, experience, some type of credentials, and that's what I'm trying to work around, I'm trying to get get in there. And I don't think I haven't been trying to make connections with people who are you know, general managers, these businesses, because of the fact that um, I would love, love to have the opportunity because I would start off on a salary. I would start off at at least out here in Cali, you would start off 50, 60 an hour. Um, back in Wilmington, probably only get like 40, 50 max. So that's another thing that's kind of sticky because if I become a general manager, I'm stuck at a location, okay? In Wilmington, I'm not making that much money. The pay is low. Out here, you actually make more money, but now I can't really travel to go, you know, visit um, family, my son, whatever. Um, so it's kind of a sticky situation. So that's the reason why I tell you guys my life is chaotic, a mess, because I don't have any type of background that I can put on paper. I know how to do the work. And you got to remember, in 2023, you don't really need to know. I mean, you don't really have too much of that on paper. You just got to meet the right people and know how to do the work. Like I walked into a bar right now, I can literally help a bar that sucks um, revamp themselves quick to where they'll be doing bigger numbers just off of little things that these bars be doing, like selling the wrong liquor, setting the wrong, wrong having the wrong price points, you know, having the wrong setup. It can be as simple as like freaking the cleanliness of the venue, the bartender's appearance. It could be little things like that that can be easily fixed and changed. So that's what I do. I turn into a chameleon and I make moves like that that help businesses. But once again, it's easy after getting your foot in the door, but getting your foot in the door is the hardest part because, you know, once I get in there, I'm good, you know? And one thing that I promised myself after the last situation is I don't want to work for, with or for nobody because of the fact it's the dead end. Now, of course, as I said before, I might have to. If things don't work out out here, things don't work out with the school, for some reason I don't finish or I don't excel to the next level, then guess what? I'll be working at freaking, might be McDonald's, might be Walmart, but I gotta get a job. I'm not gonna be doing this forever, but I hope it doesn't get to that point. Um, and as you guys see, this is the THC still going, but I'm trying to push through and get these videos out because um, you know people want updates, I'm trying to give them updates. But yeah, I'm on one because I accidentally took, it, took that pill. It was too high of a dosage. So now won't do it again, trust me. Um, but back to the point ahead, that's pretty much what's going on right now. So, um, matrix, it's just crazy. Cause I got people trying to talk me into once again, jumping into the matrix, because I'm going to talk to you guys on another video. I'm going to try to do today uh, about the whole Eminem controversy. You have people mad because I guess Eminem came out with a campaign talking about, um, all their Eminem going to be females, but then I guess. Um, conservative men started going off like what happened to men blah 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 Eminem men uh, Eminems or whatever and then I guess Eminem came out with a um, with a, a message talking about um, they want to be inclusive to everybody and blah 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 and that they're gonna just um, base their spokesperson off of some black woman I forgot who it was I think it was Maya Angelou or somebody uh, but now black people are upset talking about that's racist that they're making chocolate peanut um, chocolate you know m ms of female women like calling them chocolate that's like you can't make everybody happy like we got to get to the point that we're 
we're literally living in the matrix to where like you're not supposed to know what a man or woman is you're not supposed to know what um sex you are you got kids literally on stage with with men with microphones as you know what peas right next to the little kids like you can look it up on twitter like we're in the most wackiest world like literally the matrix is taking over because we're literally in a world to where they're trying to make everything else not make sense you know like and it's only in america it's it's starting to seep into other countries but it's only america that we're just radical with everything that i don't know what's going on you know like you got like just too much going on i'm doing a video on this, on some of these things because it's just it's insane and it's causing poor people to be more poor stay poor because these ideals that they're trying to push on us are only going to hurt us in the long run because people are confused and people are doing the s word taking themselves out because they're confused and we're giving into these things because we're trying to be open-minded about everything but some things you just can't be open-minded about like tony dungeon or dungy he got in trouble because he said what's next they're gonna put a, a litter box in each bathroom because now you got kids that are going to school talking about their identified cats so now their schools are literally talking about putting kitty litter or putting um whatever they're called litter boxes in bathrooms all because you know and he said that because he saw a story of uh school that are putting tampon um things whatever like you know um, rocks whatever you call them in the men and women bathroom of high schools which is just insane like just insane like first off no girl like you you know you and you notice i'm not trying to get off go too deep into the, the rabbit hole to have the matrix cancel my channel but just think about this i'm gonna leave you with this we never ever see women um, trans into or turn into men, you know, because they feel like they're men, turn into men and use the women's restroom, run in men's sports, participate in men wrestling, you know, just pretty much participate in men athletics or whatever. But it's always the men that go to women and they're using the women's bathroom, they're playing in women's sports and dominating, and they're winning, you know, Miss USA pageants. Like, we have yet to see a woman go and win a bodybuilder contest or win a freaking power lift contest as a woman to man. Like, it's so hypocritical. Like, I told y'all before, they're pushing us so far from God and it, it's only really affecting poor people because the rich people are going to stay rich. But the poor people, they're giving, what they're doing, the Matrix is doing is giving poor people another reason to make up on why they're poor. Because now you have something to talk about to say that this is the reason why you're held back. This is giving us stuff to fight and argue about and stay preoccupied rather than notice that your taxes this year, you're getting way less than normal. Like you realize all these people that voted for your, you know, voted for this president, they don't realize that they screwed themselves because you do notice that whenever you have a Democratic president in office, poor people end up paying more in taxes or getting less back. Like I look... And I know you guys can say because of Trump, that whole um, child tax credit got lowered. It used to be like thirty five or thirty six hundred. Now it's only like fifteen hundred dollars. Like Democrats were in power in office for freaking they were in control, I believe, for one at least one year. But I believe it's two years all the way across the board. They could have like made that a permanent thing if they wanted to, but they didn't. So why is it that we all got more money back with Trump in office every year? especially the last two years because of, of course, COVID, we still got more money back. Then with the Democrats who are supposed to be the people for poor, you know, the, the power for poor people to win, you know, vote Democrat. We're losing because a lot of people, and I can't wait to see the look on these people who bashed me to death because I was like against this administration, bashed me to death. Now these people are all on Facebook right now and it's just hypocritical. They're all on Facebook complaining that they're not getting back what they thought they're gonna get on taxes. And it's a laughable, completely laugh. I laugh at these people because you literally, I told you guys, you do notice that poor people always lose whenever Democrats are in office, but we're brainwashing and voting for Democrats. Now look, so what I do is just, I go on, when they put a sad post, like, oh my God, they normally get seven or $8,000, which I don't understand still how these women be getting eight, $9,000 back on taxes and they don't even work. 
They work like freaking like one day a week and they get $9,000 back. Um, but they, they're like, oh my God, I get 9,000. Now I'm only getting $5,000 back. I literally hit the, um, um, I usually, I literally hit the, um, laugh your face button because I just laugh because like you literally is one of the people that bashed me and called me uncle Tom and this and that. But now look, you're complaining because your president didn't do nothing to continue giving all this money, um, away as he promised. You're getting less money now. And they're going to make up excuses and say, once again, oh, no, Trump did this, blah, blah, blah. No, Democrats are in office. They could have reversed it as fast as they reversed all the other bills that Trump, you know, put in place. You know, like that deal we had with um, in Afghanistan that Joe Biden wanted to be the president to end it. So guess what he did? He canceled out that plan and now you got americans still stuck overseas all right so look this ain't a, uh, gonna be i'm not trying to turn this to a right wing left wing um uh, conversation i'm just saying i'm kind of i got i got there i'm over twitching whatever i'm looking at twitching but i got there because i went on facebook and the same people who literally like tried to cancel me out for not supporting biden are all complaining, talking about, oh my God, why did I vote for Biden? Biden just can't get any worse. What did you expect was going to happen? Like, what did you expect? You expected to have more money? Like, from taxes? You expected to have more job opportunities? You expected to, what? Inflation not to go and be at, at all-time high? Like, what did you expect? Um, But that's the video. Sorry to end it on like a... Uh, unhinged rant but it is what it is uh, i'm gonna give you guys some more um hopefully later tonight but for sure tomorrow but that's all i got if you can hit the like button for me subscribe if you're not subscribed help me out with the algorithm and just leave a comment and say what it do but for sure hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed i was at um 9049 subscribers now last video i said to subscribe and now i'm at 9,053 subscribers. So help me get to 9,100 subscribers by Sunday. Let's see if we can make that happen. If we can make that happen, maybe I'll take a half of that um, THC pill again and I'll come on live and I'll be a straight goofball because I'll be lit. I'll be like, okay, you know what? The end ain't here because I got a goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And it's going to be hard. And I know it's like, looks like it's undoable, but hey, why not try? And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try one video at a time. But that's all I got for now. I'm out. Peace.